Good morning, Grade Five. Welcome back to Grade Five Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So today, let's learn the next method of data representation, which is called line graph or line chart. So here you can see an example of a line graph. This is from your textbook. So a line graph is used to represent data that changes over time, over a period of time. So here you can see. In a line graph, we plot data using dots, and these dots are connected with straight lines like this in a dot-to-dot -dot fashion. So you draw straight lines from one dot to the other dot. So how we put the dots, how we plot the data, that we'll study later in this class. So in a line graph, there will be two axes: one horizontal axis like this, and one vertical axis like this. The horizontal axis or the x-axis. Here in this example, it shows the different classes, and the vertical axis or the y-axis here in this example shows the height of a person, a student in different classes. So let's see all these once again. A line graph or a line chart is a type of chart used to show information that changes over time, and we plot line graphs using several points connected by straight lines in a dot-to-dot -dot fashion. And also, line graphs have two axes: a horizontal axis or the x-axis, and a vertical axis or the y-axis. Now, this example is taken from your textbook. Here, it is mentioned that Rishi, a student of class eight, he was going through his old school records, and he came across the different heights that he had in different classes. So he recorded that data, and he plotted that data into a line graph. So first, he made a table like this. Now, in one column of the table, he recorded the different classes, and in the next column, he recorded the heights he had in different classes. Then he used this data to draw a line graph like this. So how did he draw the line graph? So first, he drew an x-axis or a horizontal axis like this, where he labeled each class: class one, class two, class three, class four, etc., at equal divisions. Now, on the vertical or the y-axis, he marked the different heights he had in the different classes to show the heights ranging from 60 centimeter to 160 centimeter. So he has these divisions marked on the y-axis at equal spacings. So now let's see how he drew this line graph using this data given in the table. So the first row, class one. In class one, he had a height of 60 centimeter. So let's look the point corresponding to class one here. You have to draw a dotted line from class one upwards. Then what did he do? He drew a horizontal line from the point where it is 60 centimeter, like this, and where the two points, where the two lines met, he marked a point like this. Then he moved to the next class. Then in class two, he had a height of seventy centimeter. So he drew a dotted line vertically upwards from class two. And in class two, from the table, it is clear that the height was seventy centimeter. So from seventy centimeter, see the point between sixty and eighty is seventy centimeter. So from seventy, he drew a dotted line, and where the two lines met. He marked a point. He put a dot there. Now, similarly, he marked all the other points corresponding to the different classes and the height he had in different classes. So he got a set of points, and then he drew straight lines connecting these points. And in the end, he got a line graph like this. So this is what Rishi did to plot his different heights in different classes. Now. Let's learn how we can plot a line graph using a graph paper. So you can buy a graph paper or a graph paper book from any shop, from where you can buy office or school supplies. So a graph paper will look like this. You'll see squares on a graph paper, which are all of the same size. See, one square on this graph paper means one division, and it will be one centimeter. Both in the x-axis direction and in the y-axis direction, each square will have a side of one centimeter, and you will see small divisions within the squares and 
each smaller division will represent one tenth of one centimeter. Now let's learn how we can plot a line graph using graph paper taking an example from exercise 14.3. So this is from the exercise in page number 205, the first question of exercise 14.3, the temperature of a place for a week is given in the table below. Draw a line graph to represent the data. So what is mentioned in the question? You are given this data. You are given the different days and the temperature recorded on different days. You have to plot this data on a line graph. Let's see how we can do that. So first you have to take the graph paper. The first step is to draw the x and y axis. So using your ruler, you have to draw a horizontal and vertical line to represent the two axes. So let's do that now. So I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Then this represents the x-axis. You have to put an arrow at one end, which means the line is extending. Now this is the x-axis. Now let's draw the y-axis. So we drew two straight lines. So on the x-axis will represent the different days. So the days and let's mark the days at equal spacings. So the this, this point, the point where the x and y axis meet is the origin. So that will correspond to a point zero. So we are taking this point and we are going to mark that as Monday. Now the next division, let's mark that as Tuesday. Now the next division will mark us Wednesday. Now the next division will mark us Thursday. Now the next Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday. Now we have marked all the labels on the x axis. Now on the y axis, you are asked to, now on the y axis, you are supposed to mark temperatures varying from, the lowest temperature here is 22 degree. So you have to mark temperatures varying from the lowest 22 degree to the highest 27 degree shown here. So I'm going to mark these values here on the y axis. Now that we are done with marking labels on the x axis, let's label the y axis. So on the y-axis, we are going to label the temperature in degree Celsius. So we can write temperature in degree Celsius. So I'm going to mark the temperatures at every 0.5 centimeter. So here I'm going to mark 22 degree, here 23, here 24, here 25, then 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and it goes on. Now we are going to plot the data from the table on this graph paper. So how do we do that? So have a look at the table. On Monday, what is the temperature? On Monday, the recorded temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. So you have to draw a dotted line vertically upwards from Monday. Then a horizontal dotted line from 23. So let's see how we can do that. So from Monday, I'm drawing a dotted line. And again, from 23, I'm drawing a dotted line. So the point where these two lines meet, I'm going to put a mark, a dot or a small cross. Now, next we are going to plot the temperature on Tuesday. So what is the temperature on Tuesday? On Tuesday, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So first let's draw a dotted line from Tuesday. Then from 25, you're going to draw a dotted line. The point where they meet, I'm going to put a cross. Now, the temperature on Wednesday. On Wednesday, the temperature is 22. 
So first a dotted line from Wednesday, then a dotted line from 22. So where they meet, you are putting a point. So make sure you are using your ruler to draw the lines. Now the next is Thursday. On Thursday the temperature is 25. So from Thursday a dotted line, then from 25 again a line. Now putting a dot or mark here. Now Friday the temperature is 27. So from 27 again a straight line then putting a mark there. Then on Saturday the temperature is 24. From 24 here, now putting a mark. Now on Sunday, the temperature is 26. So 26 degree. So again from 26, let's draw a dotted line. Now the point where these two lines intersect, let's draw or let's put a mark. Now we mark all the temperatures. The next step is to join these points using straight lines. So let's do that now. Now let's connect these points using ruler. So we have connected the first two points. Then let's move to the next set of points. See, now we have connected all the points using straight lines. This is the line graph corresponding to the data given here in the question. So I hope you understood how to plot a line graph on a graph paper. So children, hope the concept we learned today is clear to you. That's all for today. Now you have to go through this topic once again through pages 205 to 207. Then you have to complete exercise 14.3. There is one more question from the exercise, question number 2. You have to use a graph paper and plot the line graph using the data given in question number 2. Then below the exercise, below question number 2, you can see the heading LS. Go through that as well. Now in the next page, 207, you can see two activities, a maths lab activity and a my project. Go through these two activities also and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. We'll see in the next class. Till then, bye.